Hi guys, welcome to Empower In. My name is Carolyn Porter Thomas. Thank you so much as usual for watching my YouTube channel. And welcome to Motivation Monday. And this Motivation Monday, we're going to talk about words. Now, a lot of times when we talk about words or when we hear advice about words, they're usually focusing on the words that we're saying. And of course, the words that we say are like super important and I don't want to downplay that. But I feel like we've already heard about that quite a bit. So I will just do a short reiteration on that. Obviously, you want to essentially think about yourself speaking your life into existence, which of course means painting your life with the words that you would like to see. So that's all I'm going to say about that because we all know how important the words we speak are. But one thing that a lot of people don't pay attention to is the words that other people say around them. We oftentimes take for granted little things that other people say around us and maybe ignore it or drown it out. But these are really, really important because I've always kind of felt like my inner self is really, really connected to the outer self, you know, the things that are going on around, around you know, me. And even if I'm not consciously paying attention, on some level it's still kind of sinking in. So one thing that I do is if I notice that people are saying like negative things about other people or about the environment or about the government or anything, I try to kind of go away from that. And one thing that I want to point out is that when you start to um, hear these conversations, you might get this like nervous energy that makes you want to join in the conversation. Um, I think it's pretty natural because you know misery loves company, negative negative to negativity <laughs> loves company. Um, so I think it's really natural to want to belong to those conversations. And um, you know at times I make the mistake and I you know, dive into those conversations. Then afterwards, you know, I'm like, oh wait, I, you know, this is not a conversation that I want to be part of. So every now and then I do make the mistake. Um, so don't worry if you do make the mistake and you accidentally go into the negative conversation. It's not a big deal. Just remember next time that you get that nervous energy that makes you want to join the conversation that you know that that's not the path you want to take. So obviously words from other people are very important. The other thing that a lot of people don't pay attention to, and I know that this could be quite controversial, but watch the words on the media or on TV or in the movies or things like that. Truthfully, I want to surround myself with words that are uplifting, words that are inspiring, words that make me think or become a better person. And a lot of what the news you know makes their money on is reporting the same terrible things over and over again in fact there was a study that said that there was like only really 10 words that the media was like constantly berating and those 10 words though got them the most views and whenever they use those words their viewerships would go up and stuff like that i read it a long time ago i don't remember like where i read it but they choose to, to use the words that they use because they have a shock factor and the shock factor um, is because, you know, you can't really go through your day and, you know, hear this word and not pay attention to it. You know, the words like devastating or horrifying or, you know, things like that. So, you know, instinctively, as a living being that wants to stay alive, um, when you hear those words, you automatically have to be like, wait, because instinctively your life could be in danger um, when you go back to our ancestry, you know, where we came from. So there is a physiological reason why those words shock us and get our attention. So when I'm in my patient's room, I ask a lot of times if the television's on really loud, I ask if I can turn it off, you know, and be like, I'm only here for a few minutes. Um, would you mind if I turn it off so I can just have your full attention? And so far, I've only had one person tell me no. And the rest of the people are actually kind of relieved to actually have human contact and a conversation. And, you know, it was actually a really good thing. So, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this Motivation Monday tip. Stay tuned because next week we are going to be talking about releasing fear. 
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please share it with your friends so that we can all be positive together. I love you guys so much. Bye. Let's stay connected, guys. No matter where you are in the world, join me here every Monday at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time for the weekly nursing free huddle before your regular huddle. This will help you start your week off on the right note. Also, get email notifications as soon as the videos are published. By joining my email list, you will receive 25% discount on my best-selling books. The first book, How to Succeed in Nursing School, has been called the best nursing school preparation guide for thousands of students just like you. Many say it's a must-read before entering nursing school. In this book, I share how I went from a very average student to graduating nursing school with honors. It also includes tips on how to choose your nursing school, how to be successful in nursing school, and how to stay motivated and driven while in nursing school. The second book, New Nurse, How to Get, Keep, and Love Your Nursing Job, is an outstanding book to help nurses start their careers on the right foot or rekindle their love for nursing. We all join this profession for altruistic reasons, but sometimes the stress of the job has us beaten down. This book, I promise, will help you reignite your love for the amazing work you do. And finally, by joining, you will also have access to a 40% discount for my How to Study for Anatomy and Physiology program. In this program, I share how I went from a C average student to two semesters later was on the dean's list. I've shared these tips with thousands of other students and they have phenomenal results. Click here for information on how to join my email list. And oh yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel also. I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.